What's up everyone? Welcome back to The Daily Sean. First things first, oh my god, oh my god, thank you, thank you, thank you. Tip the scale of the 2000 mark overnight last night and it's just continuing to climb. Thank you. Second thing is apparently uh, you guys like the Clap. So I'll keep doing that. Not a problem. For those of you who have never been here before, I do a daily video called The Daily Sean about everything related to nursing. Still random as ever. I'll probably never have a rhyme or reason. That's me. Sorry. Today's episode. Nursing has ruined public restrooms. Yes. What they don't tell you when you decide to become a nurse, they fail to inform you public restrooms will never be the same again. Let me explain. First of all, microbiology. Hello? Did anyone else do that funny little test with the penny and the hydrogen peroxide thing? Seriously? Come up with five things in the front of my brain when it comes to the nursing profession ruining public restrooms for me. First one, now I wash my hands before I actually do my business. Seriously? We're that paranoid. Number two, nurses have been known to decide to hold it when they enter a public restroom. The way it looks, the setup, it's cleanliness. This is not exclusive to nurses, I understand that. We become very hypercritical of what a public restroom looks like. For instance, once I wash my hands, how am I supposed to dry my hands without touching anything? Speaking of washing and drying your hands, Number three, we have become very inventive and very creative in figuring out how to dry our hands without using our hands. Wash your hands, row, row, row your boat. You know, you do it, seriously. Oh, you're able to say done. Now, hands are wet, but they're clean. So I can't touch the dials to turn the water off. Can't touch the handle to give me the paper towels. Can't touch the button to turn on the dryer. So I gotta start doing that funky chicken thing with my elbow or I'm gonna use my rear end or I have been known to, you know, shoulder it or butt my head. But one way or another, my dripping hands cannot touch a surface. They're clean. Now that we've dried our hands, our hands are clean and dry, how do we get out? Because I'm not touching the handle. Are you touching the handle? Come up with inventive ways to, Greg, to get ourselves out of the room. What's really cool is that I have actually been in a public restroom that has a foot pedal. Foot pedal. Start doing the funky chicken and the elbow. Been known to put your hand in your shirt, things like that, into your jacket, or using some sort of shoulder elbow butt move. In desperate times, you'll actually wait for some sucker to open the door for you and be like, oh, by the way, thank, oh, oh thank you. When in reality, you know you weren't touching the door handle in the first place. Fifth thing that we do, boy, do we judge. You keep an eye on the people that actually do their duties and then don't wash their hands. You watch where they go because you're staying away from them. Or you're going to walk out and you're going to tell your friend who probably is a healthcare professional nurse, dude, I bet that person over there, yeah, they didn't wash their hands. Tell your, your parent, friends, you know what? They didn't wash their hands. And when somebody answers you, so not washing your hands after you use a public restroom? Ugh. That's all I gotta say about that. So yes, nursing has changed public restrooms forever. Let me know what you think. You guys have been great with your comments. Keep them coming. What do you think of this one? Love it? Hate it? Think it was great? Did it suck? Share the video. Comment down below. You know I love the thumbs up. Tell somebody. And as always, check your own pulse first.